hopefully it gets people <laughs> yeah. into exercise. I've, I've read people say that they can't exercise consistently, but they can play VR consistently and have mm. fun. And like there's, there's games where like you are shooting stuff or whatever, but like you have to squat under things and you have to dodge and you have to move and, you know, flail your arms all over the place. And yeah, playing something like Beat Saber, you'll be drenched in sweat. It reminds yeah. me of Wii Boxing. When yeah. Wii Boxing oh, yeah. first yep. came out, 100%. that was so yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was super fun. Yeah. All right, morning routine. What do you do? What do you I would do? mention you jump rope and yeah. then you hop into a cold plunge? Yeah, man. Um, Dude, what a crazy bastard. Mm-hmm. Andrew, what do you think about that? I don't know. Getting freezing cold right off the bat? Yeah. So there, there's a method to this. No. And the, there's a reason. So, like, the reason why I. Andrew I, said no. I said no. <laughs> Twice. <Just> no. <laughs> Three <laughs> times. The reason why I jump rope outside <laughs> is because. Um, Yo, sleep's a big deal, right? And we learned from Andrew Huberman, who came on the podcast, that's an episode. If you haven't listened to you got to go check it out, um, that you want to get some morning light to kind of start your circadian clock in the beginning of the day. Because if you just wake up and you stay inside for a period of time and your eyes don't get actually to sunlight, um, your body doesn't start releasing certain things that help your clock start mm-hmm. so that when evening time comes, you feel sleepy again. So it's, it's supposed to help regulate like your melatonin. Exactly. Helps regulate your melatonin too, so that your melatonin starts actually going up at a certain time during mm-hmm. the night to get you ready for bed. So a lot of people just go from there, you know, they wake up, they go from their car, they're outside for a few minutes before they get into their office, they're in there for a majority of the day, then they go home. But you want to get yourself morning sunlight. I want to so, point something out too. Your car uh, just everything and all our modern technology is just crap. But your car has tinted uh, windows in a sense that it blocks you getting the benefits of the sun. The blue light, mm-hmm. it blocks so the blue light. So if you light. think that you're, you know, just you're like, oh, I'm in my car for 45 minutes mm-hmm. and the sun's out at that time, it's not the same. So unfortunately, yeah, you got to try to figure out a way to get sun. Maybe you can roll your window down and look at it a little bit, but it'd be nice if you could wake up a little earlier and try to catch that sun whatever way you can. Or even take a walk. Like, it's, it's a great thing. Like, I like to jump rope so I can just jump rope, then hop into the plunge. And then, um, you know, my coffee is already being made. Go shower, come down. But, you know, whatever you can do to get your, get your morning sunlight, realize that that morning sunlight right there is going to set you up so that you can actually have good quality sleep. And then I also try to, every time I can, I try to get a bit of the uh, evening sunset because there's there's another um, there's another like ray of light that happens in the evening when the sun is setting that's going to help also get that clock ready to w- everything wind down so you can get, actually fall asleep well you want your eyes to be seeing that so those are two things that I do to make sure I have a good night's sleep because with a good night's sleep then I can do all the things I need to do the next day mm. productively so my routine is I get up I go downstairs let my dog out I go jump rope for 10 minutes um, and then uh, I hop right into the cold plunge for five minutes, go inside, coffee's made, shower, come here. If I can find some time to meditate within there too, cool. Mm-hmm. If I can't meditate at that time or whatever, and I use Sam Harris's app, Waking Up. But if I can't do that then, I'll do it sometime during the day. That type of stuff, meditation, when you do it more, you'll find that it helps you be able to focus on certain things for long periods of time because you're supposed to train yourself to be present. And those are the things I do in the morning. Jump and rope, how long have you been do- doing that for? Uh, I think I've been doing that for on and off for two and a half months now. Mm. Um, but I've been trying to like get much better at it. Like I really want to be able to just jump rope without it you know, feeling difficult. And I, it's con- been continuing to feel easier and easier. I guess that easier. you're doing it inside because it's been- I'm doing it outside. Okay. Doing it outside. Because even if it's raining or it's it's cold, oh, I still Oh, you said want, you let your dog outside. Yeah. yeah, I let my dog outside. So I, I want my, I need okay. my eyes to see that outside light. So that's, mm-hmm. that's what's happening during the jump rope. I'm getting my heart rate up, feeling good. My body's getting warm, but I'm also looking at the sky mm-hmm. because the main reason I want to do it outside is so I can get that morning light. Everything's supposed to be setting me up so I can have a good day Mm-hmm. I can have, again, a good night's sleep to wake up and do it again. Mm-hmm. But if I don't get that light, I notice that I don't sleep as well. I don't fall asleep as fast. It makes a very big difference. So whatever way, you don't have to jump rope. Go take a walk. Um, go sit outside. Maybe just sit outside and think. I don't know. But get your eyes seeing light when you wake up in the morning. I have not messed with this much before, but people talk about earthing. Ooh, and well, it would be very difficult to do earthing now because it's really cold out. But people just talk about having your feet make contact with the ground, like your actual feet, no socks, no shoes, Um, earthing, grounding. People call it different things. There's even like a grounding mat that's supposed to give you like a similar vibe, but I don't know 
if that's like weird, like voodoo stuff or mm-hmm. if it actually does anything. But, um, Pat Project family, I hope you guys are enjoying this bite. Did you know that cocaine increases your dopamine levels by two and a half times above baseline? Okay. Why is this important? Why is this important, Ansima? <laughs> because, you know, a really cool thing that we learned from Andrew Huberman is that getting yourself into cold water or cold water exposure, like the cold plunge, does the same thing. What? Two and a half t- a times above baseline, and you have those sustained dopamine levels for up to four or five hours after cold exposure. This is why we love cold plunging so much. I cannot say this enough. It has been one of the best additions to our daily routines. If you can already, just take cold showers. But if you want to take to the next level, get the cold plunge. And Andrew, how can they do it? You guys got to head over to thecoldplunge.com and at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT to save $150 off. I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it till I'm blue in the face and not blue from the cold, blue from holding my breath. This has been the absolute <laughs> best thing I've ever done for my mental health. I just, I'll, I like I said, I can't say it enough so again thecoldplunge.com promo code power project uh, links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes let's get back to this podcast uh, you know i'm a pretty big believer that we're we're pretty damn connected to this earth and mm-hmm. the, what you're talking about with the uh light in the eye sounds almost like we're like robots you know like we're some sort of like computer or something like that but we kind of are we are we have this kind of programming in our in us that um allows us to express certain parts of our genes in certain ways and i think just a really key thing to to hone in on is if you're not currently starting your day with movement, that would be an excellent thing to start your day with. Some sort of movement, whatever version of movement that you can figure out. I realize for some people, like right when you wake up, trying to think about, um, you know, doing like squats or push ups, like if you're older or you just kind of beat up and, and your body's tight and sore. It might be kind of hard, but there's so many variations of all that stuff that you could do while you're making your coffee in the morning or in between sipping your coffee, you can literally do some push-ups on your counter and just, you know, just go on an angle and those push-ups will be super easy. Mm -hmm. But the point isn't to have anything be really super hard or anything. The point is just to introduce some movement into your life. uh, First thing when you wake up, I think it's a great idea for me. It's usually walking but I don't have an opportunity to walk usually right away because I usually drive to wherever it is I'm walking. But that for me that, um, and I set up my walks a lot of times to where when I'm coming back from my walk that I'm usually facing towards the sun. Mm-hmm. So I'm walking and it's usually pretty dark cause I'm usually walking and it's kind of early, but as I go to come back, it's, it's almost like I'm high. Like it feels mm-hmm. ama- If I'm running, it feels fucking incredible. Yeah. But I feel so good. I'll be like super emotional during that. I'll be, I'll be happy. I'll cry. I'll do, I'll go through every emotion you can think of, which sounds kind of silly, but I wouldn't go through any of those things if I wasn't like pushing myself through something. But I think that the sunlight has a ton to do with it and allows me to work through stuff. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes I have people, they'll say, fuck man, how are you so calm? it's like, well, if you did some of the stuff I did every day, you'd be pretty chill too. Because it's like, I feel like I have a good skill set to be able to fend some of these things off because of the way that I'm just spending time taking care of myself. So if you're not currently moving first thing in the morning, I would strongly suggest, even based off what Nsim is saying, how he's getting up and popping outside and jumping rope, I'm thinking like, yeah, it would be good for me to do something where I'm moving right away because by the time I go and do my walk, it is a little bit while later. So... I'm just thinking, you know, there's probably a couple things I can do first thing in the morning, some squats, um, some uh, some push-ups, something right when I get up with no excuses, just get a couple of them done. Yeah. Power Project family, a lot of the guys in the audience said that they hate me whispering, so I won't whisper anymore. I'll just whisper here again so go ahead and comment down below like comment subscribe and check out all our sponsors here in the bio or the description okay all right bye